Atoms are actually made up of negatively charged particles called electrons, positively charged particles called protons, and neutral particles called neutrons. Matter. All materials around us are made up of made of made of matter. Books, tables, chairs, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, our body, the sun, the moon, the earth are all made of matter. Let us define matter. Matter is anything that occupies space, has mass, and can be perceived by our senses. Thus, there are three essential conditions for something to be called matter. They are as follows. It must occupy space. Number two, it must have mass. Number three, we must be able to perceive it by our senses. That is, be able to touch, smell, see, or taste it. We see so many different kinds of matter around us. Different kinds of matter differ from each other in their composition and properties. They differ in color, size, weight, volume, composition, melting point, boiling point, solubility in water. Besides these differences, they differ from each other in many ways. Classification of matter. To study all different kinds of matter accurately and conveniently, matter is classified into two broad categories, pure substances and mixtures. A pure substances consist of particles of only one kind. Example, pure gold consists of particles of gold only. Pure water contains particles of water only. A mixture consists of particles of more than one kind. Example, salt solution contains particles of water and common salt. Sugar solution contains particles of water and sugar. Discovery of electron. During the 1870s, English chemist and physicist Sir William Crookes developed the first cathode ray tube. In 1874, the Irish physicist G. J. Stoney suggested that there existed a single definite quantity of electricity. However, Stoney believed these charges were permanently attached to atoms and could not be removed. In 1894, Stoney coined the term electron to represent these elementary charges. In 1896, British physicist J. J. Thomson performed experiments showing that cathode ray rays really were unique particles. Thomson called the cathode ray particles corpuscles. However, it was only at the end of the 19th century that these various concepts came together to form a unified theory based upon an electron as a fundamental component of matter. Only later, Rutherford in 1911, Niels Bohr in 1912 and Chadwick in 1932 showed that all atoms are made up of three particles, electron, protons and neutrons. Pure substances are further classified into two subgroups, <coughs> elements and compounds. Matter further classified into pure substances, mixed substances, mixtures and <coughs> pure substances is classified into two elements and compounds, pure substances. Pure substances contain particles of only one kind. Pure substances are further classified into elements and compounds. Classifying matter. Matter is anything that occupies space, has mass, and can be perceived by our senses. With this definition of matter in mind, can you identify different kinds of matter around you? Try to make a list of at least 20 to 25 different kinds of matter that you see around you. Do you see any similarity between any of them? Try to group them according to some similarity that you think you can think of into four or five groups. Thank you.